Hello and welcome back to the next session on incentive fee and performance fee calculation. Here we'll discuss few more scenarios using Excel and uh, we'll also summarize the key takeaway for hurdle rate and high watermark to calculate incentive fee. So I'm going to share another Excel working and uh, we'll walk you through. So in this example, we are going to talk about fluctuating hurdle with quarterly crystallization um, with high water mark. So this is the uh, fifth scenario that we are going to talk about. Since it is again quarterly crystallization, so we don't have opening hurdle. So another key takeaway is that whenever there is a opening hurdle, that means it is uh, one uh, month on month uh, calculation and hurdle rate, it is not compounding. Right. In case of a compounding hurdle, we have an opening hurdle as well. So since it is simple hurdle, though it is a fluctuating month-on-month -month basis, but it is simple hurdle, hence we don't have any opening hurdle in this case. And that is why you see here, number of months is accruing on quarterly basis because we have one single high water mark for all three months and we are not compounding the hurdle here. Now, what, how it is different from the previous examples is that th this time the hurdle rate itself is fluctuating. It is not constant like previous examples. So let's see, the spread is 2% and the hurdle is being calculated using current LIBOR rate. So current LIBOR is say 3% and we add 2%. So the hurdle becomes 5%. In the next month, the LIBOR is 4% adding 2% of spread. We have hurdle of 6%. That is the difference uh, th this time uh, in this example. Most of the other uh, numbers are the same as previous example. So we have high water mark as 500k. Profit for the uh, month is given in all the examples. High water mark as we discussed since it is uh, accruing for the entire, uh, the incentive fee is accruing for the entire quarter and there is no compounding. Hence we have one simple high water mark, which is taken from the start of the month. So 500K, hurdle rate is agreed. So hurdle amount will be simply five divided by 12 times high water mark. We add hurdle and high water mark, et cetera, and, cal and uh, compare that against the GAV. Since GAV is again higher than the high water mark and hurdle, there's an excess amount which means uh, investment manager has exceeded the performance above the hurdle and high water mark. Hence, 1354 is the additional excess NAV or the GAV on which incentive fee can be calculated. So 10% of this amount is incentive fee. That is adjusted from the GAV and we calculate the, incentive, uh, the overall NAV divided by number of shares, we calculate GAV per share, so on and forth. Next month, 14,439 loss. And again, since we are only calculating simple hurdle rate, hence we are going to factor two months of hurdle, right? So 5,000 here comes as per, as per this. So 6%, which is this hurdle rate, 6% times two months because it is for the month of May, right? Two by 12 times 500,000, which is our HWM. That becomes 5,000. We add with high water mark, there's a hurdle. And X, the, this time, this number hurt, uh, HWM hurdle is less than GAV. Hence, there is no incentive fee and it is marked as nil. So no incentive fee will be accrued for the entire two months. In fact, even third month, there is no incentive fee because GAV is lower than high water mark and hurdle combined, if you see here, and there is no incentive fee accrued. Whenever at the end of the quarter, we have no incentive fee accrued, the closing GAV and NAV will remain the same. Incentive fee will be zero end of the quarter and in that case opening high watermark in the next quarter will remain as it is because we are going to take this high watermark 
and add the entire four months of hurdle that we have seen in the previous examples as well. So it is a key idea about fluctuating hurdle rate with a simple hurdle. Now we are going to also look at two very quick and simple examples from another tab. Here we are considering simple hurdle with end of quarter profit because earlier we saw that there was no profit at the end of the quarter and hence there was no incentive fee. So what happens if there is any profit at the end of the quarter? So see the excess is positive 990. That means we are going to calculate incentive fee. And in this case, uh, we are taking incentive fee as 20%. So incentive fee is calculated here. Overall, deduction of incentive fee will also take place. So in this example, we have overall in uh, month two date incentive fee basically 334 no, actually 198 so we have nav adjusted by 198 of the fees incentive fee for the entire quarter so 198 is the incentive fee on the entire quarter because 990 is the amount by which the gav has exceeded HWM plus hurdle rate. So this is the formula. If Gavi is higher, then we calculate the gap, the difference in another word, the difference or also known as excess, multiply that by 20% and we get this incentive fee here. Back to the story. Next quarter, which is July, July 1, our high water mark has been adjusted or changed. It is not a uh, 100K anymore. And why? Because we discussed earlier, whenever the incentive fee has been paid on a particular high water, on particular nav, we take that nav as the new high water mark. So what is the new, uh, the last nav on which incentive fee was paid? I mean, the nav after the incentive fee, that is 102K. 102 to 92. So that is why it is a new now, a new high water mark. Next case is compound hurdle when the there is a profit at the end of the quarter. So compounding hurdle. We know whenever there is a compounding hurdle, there is an opening hurdle rate as well. Let me just spend this. So there is an opening hurdle rate. And whenever there is an opening hurdle rate, we calculate only one month every time uh, for the hurdle amount because we know that this opening hurdle already has included the prior month's hurdle amount. So we just calculate one month at a time. So uh, in this case, again, we start with a high water mark of 1 million and we calculate the hurdle amount added with the high water mark. We calculate excess, incentive fee, so on and forth, and adjust the incentive fee from GAV and recalculate the NAV. So in a simple example here, in the first two months, profit is made. Third month, there is a slight loss, but it will be overall still in profit. As we can see, that means there is overall excess nav, right? Because high watermark plus hurdle rate so far is 101507. What is our GAV? 102490, which means GAV is again higher by 983. So, 20% of this amount will be our incentive fee. So 20% of 983, 196 incentive fee, which is adjusted from GAV. And again, since this is a NAV after the incentive fee was paid, that becomes a new high water mark and hurdle rate both. All right. So that is the concept of Calculating incentive fee using hurdle rate, high water mark, compounding, in simple, etc. Couple of rule of thumbs that we can note as well is whenever we have a compounding hurdle, we need to calculate only monthly hurdle amount. However, the high water mark uh, or actually the opening hurdle for the month will be from the last month's hurdle plus high water mark. So this is the rule that we need to follow. Plus 
whenever we see that at the end of the quarter there is an incentive fee calculated and gav is adjusted by incentive fee our new high water mark will be adjusted new high water mark will be last quarter or last month's incentive uh, now on which incentive fee was paid paid so we need to bear in mind when high water mark will change when we have opening hurdle when we calculate number of months so in case of uh, compounding the number of months that we need to consider will be only one but in case of simple hurdle we need to consider the all the number of months for a quarter until the incentive fee is paid so these are some rule of thumb that we need to consider also in case of uh, compounding hurdle last month's closing high water mark and hurdle will be used for this month's opening hurdle and we just need to add one month hurdle amount to arrive at the current month high water mark and hurdle last but not the list we need to calculate excess amount which means the gap over the high water mark and hurdle in order to arrive at the decision whether or not incentive fee should be paid incentive fee will be only paid at the excess amount excess which is gav minus hwm plus hurdle and this amount all together should be multiplied by the incentive fee rates so that should be the formula to calculate the incentive fee at the end of the quarter or end of the month so if we can uh, keep in mind these four five steps and uh, techniques incentive fee calculation will be straight forward thank you so much for your time and attention and look forward for next video